Hello guys, I'm Wiz, I'm a web backend developer. I'm here with another Laravel package that will wow you. If you are looking for a Laravel package or easy way to get the dollar rate asset market value of any cryptocurrency for your website or project, then this is the best option for your search. This package was developed to work with CoinCap API, which has a useful tool for real time pricing and market activity for over 1000 cryptocurrencies by collecting exchange data from thousands of markets. It also offers transparent and accurate data on asset price and availability. For all endpoints, a single page offers 100 responses by default and supports up to 2000 responses per page upon request. Okay, now check out what this package does for you. With this package, you don't have to bother about connecting to the endpoints. It has already been taken care of by the package facade class. To get a response from the endpoints, you have to use the related facade class. This package gets a JSON response from the CoinCap API endpoints and convert it to an object for easy accessibility. Meaning you don't have to use JSON decode for the response again as it has already been taken care of. So what this package uh, really does in the recent is that it gets the data from the uh, CoinCap API endpoint, then convert which the response is normally comes with as an adjacent format so if you get it on adjacent format then convert it to an object for easy accessibility please if you find this video to be interesting and informative can you like the video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications anytime we develop any package you can also share with your friends then give the package a star on jtop thanks without taking much of your time let me quickly show you how to integrate and use this package in any of your laravel projects for this video demonstration i'm going to use a fresh laravel project meaning i'm going to create a new laravel project so let's head straight to our terminal and create a new laravel project with the composer please make sure you have composer installed in your system to be able to create a laravel project and install this package so if you don't have Composer installed in your system, you can head straight to getcomposer.org and download it and install it in your system. Before going any more further, I assume that you have already known the basic of OOP, MVC and Laravel framework as I'm not going to explain deeply everything I'm going to type here. Let's hold on for a few seconds for Composer to create our project. Okay, the project has been created successfully. Let's move to our project folder. Next is to grab the package installation command from the package G12 repo. Then paste it on our terminal. Then wait for Composer to quickly install the package. The package G12 repository link is on this video description. Okay, after the package has been installed successfully, we have to add the package provider and the alias on the Laravel config file. So let's quickly grab the package provider and the alias from the package repo and add it to our Laravel project. In order to use this package facade class, we need to add these two things. So after adding the provider and the alias, let's go back to our terminal and start our server. Next is to open our project in the browser. Okay, for this demonstration, we are going to create a test controller which we use to render our view. So let's quickly create the test controller. Okay, after creating the controller, let's set up the route that we use for the view. So here in our route parameters, we have the first parameters, the route endpoint. 
then the second parameter as the controller you want to associate it with then we now have the last parameter which is the method inside the controller now let's head straight to our controller and create the method that will return the view Let's check on our brother to see if everything is working fine. Great, everything is okay. Okay, next is to create a simple markup on the welcome blade that we will use to test our package. Let's change the document title to crypto cap. Uh, let's create head one tags for the cryptocurrency we are going to use to test the package. The first H1 will be Bitcoin, the second will be Ethereum. The third will be XRP. The fourth will be Cardano. And the last will be Tron. Okay, let's quickly view this on the browser. Okay, that's fine. Not gonna do any design on the markup. We're actually going to use it for the output from the package through the CoinCap API. So the next what we're going to do is to grab the facade which is, which is responsible to pull the assets of the cryptocurrencies through the CoinCap API. So to know more what the assets of the cryptocurrencies are, you have to go to the CoinCap API documentation to read more and to know what the response is all about. So on this video, you also uh, get to get an insight of how the uh, result is gonna be because i'm going to die and dump the results for you to see how the result looks like uh oops that's there is, that is an error so first for you to use the facade class on the controller you have to first of all import it for you to use it so if you're using that side the controller you can uh, you can't uh, you won't be bothered to uh import it anywhere so if you're using inside the blade files you are not important anyway since you have put the uh, providers inside the config Laravel config file so we don't need to import it anyway so we are free to use the facade class anywhere on the blade but for you to use it on the controller you have to first of all import it for you to use it that's how it is so okay good this is what the result looks like so this is coming from the coin cap api endpoint so uh uh, it has the attribute and the value so for you to know more about the, about the attribute and the value you have to go to the coin cap api documentation to read through and understand what uh the attributes and the, uh, the attributes and the values really are so the link to the coin cap api documentation is is in the um this package report documentation so you read through the package report documentations to get the link of this coin cap api documentation and read through and understand better okay let's grab the next facade class which is get assets with limits the initial one we use was get assets so the initial one is going to get all the assets of the cryptocurrencies which is capped at 200 per request so this one what this one does is to get assets with limits it's going to allow you to put the parameters which is the number of uh, assets you are going to get per request so you can either put 5, 10, 20, depending on how many records you want at a time. So that's the difference between the get assets and the get assets with limits. As you can see in our results, you can only get 5 records because that's what you set on the parameter to only get 5 records per request. So you can either say 20, 30, 40 or any number of your choice that is not uh, greater than 200 because that's what it can get per request. So you can set more than 200. Okay, last facade class I'm going to show you in this video before we move straight to how to use this facade class inside our plate file is the get single asset facade class. So this facade class accepts one parameter, which is the ID or the name of the uh, cryptocurrency you want to get the asset for. So for this example, I'm going to use Ethereum. You can either use Bitcoin or Tron, any cryptocurrency of your choice you want to get. Yeah, this is how the results looks like. Now let me quickly show you how to use this uh, facade class inside our blade file. <laughs> so uh, we're going to use the get single uh, asset facade class for this. 
first we are going to get the price of bitcoin using the facade class of the get single asset facade so we're going to get the data then get the price in usd which is the attribute inside the data object and this will give us the actual uh, price of bitcoin at that moment remember the price is real time it keeps changing so now we can actually get the price of bitcoin so let's quickly format the output using the php number format function so let's run it to the nearest two decimal places okay now the output looks cool so let's quickly add the dollar sign which the price is being returned in dollar so we are going to do the same for other cryptocurrencies to get the price so that's gonna be it for this video demonstration so you can go ahead and uh, check out other facades to see how they works and uh, uh, know the results you're gonna get when you use them so you can also check out the github repo of this package so from there you can also see the documentation for the CoinCap api link that's the link that will lead you to the documentation for the CoinCap api so you can go straight to uh, uh, the CoinCap api to see how everything works and uh, to see how to use them please if you actually find this video helpful and informative can you like the video and subscribe to our channel to keep in touch for more of our laravel package that we are yet to develop and also head straight to this package detail drupal and give it a star thank you see you in the next video